Hi, my name is Ryan Hanley, the founder of Rogue Risk, where we protect your business by protecting your people. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to improve your return to work program. And there are seven factors in doing that. The first factor is operating a safe and healthy workplace, not just on paper, not just through our words, but through our behaviors. And we can then track those behaviors through spot checking. So our first method is to spot check the behaviors that drive a safe and healthy workplace. We need to ensure through actual spot check reviews that our supervisors and managers are directing boots on the ground employees to take the necessary behaviors that create a safe and healthy work environment. Too often what we find when we first engage with a new client is that they have lots of things written down on paper, but then they have no process or procedure for actually making sure that our employees are following those guidelines. And we help them put that in place. And whether you work with Rogue or not, creating a culture of spot checks to ensure behaviors and a kind of safe culture that if someone is not operating in the right way that you're gonna help get them there through training or reviews. Um, you're not just gonna yell at them and tell them to do it differently. Um, you wanna create an environment where people are doing the things that you know is gonna create a safe and healthy work environment. That will, in general, just create less injuries, but it will also establish a culture that when an injured employee comes back, they're fit into a system that is ready for them, that they're not trying to negotiate around uh, continued uh, dangerous situations. The second way to improve your return to work program is to offer a modified list of work functions. That means actually having a list of job duties. That list can be 10, 20. It can be as many job functions as you think are possible inside of your business and then tracking that against a list of injuries that could potentially do uh, those job functions so that you can sit down during the uh, kind of uh, reacclimation process of an injured worker and talk through the various functions that they could potentially engage in based on the injury that they sustained. This establishes for that uh, injured employee that there is a path for their, their return, that they can get back to work, that they can start to feel like part of the team again. It also allows supervisors and boots on the ground employees, their peers that they're going to be working alongside, it allows it allows them to have an understanding of what that employee's capabilities are gonna be once they come back into the team, which is an important part of continuing that culture that's so important to a safe and healthy work environment. If you'd like a sample of what one of these modified work function uh, kind of worksheets looks like. I'll have a link along with this video that you can click and download uh, just a sample. It's a it's a sample. It's a generic version, but it'll give you a really solid idea of what one of these worksheets look like. And you can even copy it for your own business and just make modifications uh, as you need. Return to work program improvement number three is to have a workflow document that is circulated to all employees and hopefully updated on an as needed and regular basis. What this workflow document does is explain exactly what happens when an employee gets injured, what the process is for both notifying for initial notifications, getting that injured employee taken care of immediately, and then the process of bringing them back into the business and uh, timetables for what that may look like. Again, with every injury, with every employee, situations are gonna vary, so this isn't like a set in stone type of document but it certainly gives everyone uh, from uh, peers to management an understanding of the process and what should be expected and the various stages that an injured employee is going to go through both from the time of injury to the time they come back from a modified uh, to a modified function to backed up to full uh, operational employment. This helps again it's all about creating a culture where people are are understanding of injuries and accepting of employees coming back into the business at different timetables with different uh, percentages of full functionality and um, it limits animosity it limits frustration and misunderstanding and helps facilitate communication inside your company return to work program improvement number four is get the supervisors of that employee any supervisor who's going to be working with that injured employee when they come back on a modified basis get them involved in the reacclimation process as early and um, 
as thoroughly as possible. You want them to understand what this person's injury is, what, uh, what, what things they'll be doing when they come back. Maybe they have some input into how that person can uh, be as productive as possible while still operating inside the nature of their injury. And by getting supervisors on board early and often, you get their buy-in, you get their input, and you ultimately turn them into ambassadors for that injured employee as they start to reacclimate into your business. Return to work program improvement number five, contact the employee early um, with an understanding of what their injury is. Obviously, uh, different injuries are going to, should give people time depending on the type of injury, but as soon as is uh, appropriate, reach out to that employee, get a feel for how they are, you know, let them know that the organization is thinking about them, considering them, let, the, let them know that the organization wants them back in and is going to help them as much as they can become part of the business again. When, when you're injured, oftentimes all that you want is to be back part, get your life going again and you don't want to be sitting at home. You want to be part of the team. You want to feel like you have purpose and meaning. And when a company can reach out early and let that employee know that they want them back uh, in, a, in a very appropriate way, uh, it, it, it improves the process in general because everyone gets aligned and starts pushing in the same direction. Return to work program uh, improvement number six have a program, have a, a return to work program owner, someone who just owns this process, all these documents that we've talked about, all these communications, uh, whether it's someone in the HR function, somewhere in the management function, uh, this, you know, for smaller organizations, this may be something that uh, is, is part of someone's job. Maybe there are a, a, a team, maybe there's a committee that handles uh, return to work stuff. It all depends on how frequently injury, uh, injuries happen at your place of, of work. Um, but maybe a committee gets all the documents initially done and then an individual is able to handle things on an ongoing basis. Um, but having someone or a group of people who are responsible for this program greatly improves its effectiveness and efficiency. And the last return to work program improvement number seven is have an information exchange and open comms with healthcare providers. Regardless of what type of care is being done for that uh, injured employee, that injured worker, uh, understanding who their doctors are, who their physicians are, who their healthcare providers are, are uh, being able to exchange information with them, get them any documents they need and vice versa, uh, understanding what that person is capable of, uh, helping understand what their limitations are. Th these types of communications greatly improve the process as a whole because there's no misunderstanding as to what a worker is capable of. It also reduces any potential adversarial nature in these relationships. Again, it's all about creating a culture of acceptance, understanding, uh, get people pointing in the same direction. From our experience here at Rogue Risk, in the vast majority of cases, what everybody wants, the injured employee, the business, healthcare providers, family members, what everyone wants is to get that injured worker back to 100% of their job functionalities as quickly as possible. And having a smooth, consistent, documented return to work program can get that done for everyone. So I know this is complex stuff. I know it seems like a lot. This is a relatively long video uh, talking about something like return to work. I hope you found it. Uh, educational. I hope it helps you. Please download that sample worksheet that I suggested. If you have questions, comments about workers' compensation, experience mods, return to work program, any of these types of things, your, your general business insurance, uh, we're here at Rogue Risk to help. We want to answer your questions. You can give us a call 855-960-6600. That's our toll-free number. Give us a call. You can always go to our website, roguerisk.com. Fill out one of the forms that you find there. We can get in touch and start a conversation about your business, what challenges you have, and how we potentially could help you solve those challenges moving into the future. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. All the best to you. And just remember, my friends, to protect your business, you have to protect your people.